Hey guys, just want to talk about the What at War patch which I've just released. A few really important things I want to get your opinions on or just test it I think. There's no way of knowing without testing it. So the biggest change I want to test is resource settings high. Um, I've actually changed this to to be different. So when you select high, it's going to start at 160 MP still, not the 600 as usual but the sky of the resources is 4,000. So that's the limit still. So 4,000 limit, which means you'll gain resources faster over time, but your start is the same. Uh, so you still have that infantry war at the start. Uh, also, you have 12, 12 special points. The reasoning behind this is because I feel that no matter 1v1s, 3v3s, 4v4s, whatever, uh, everyone needs to buy their... their uh, first or two special points to stay in the game. So it's, it's just a, it's not a decision in my opinion. Right now everyone just buys it. So after that, the there is choice in three, four, five, six. People will choose that because they think, oh, I want to get this or that. But one and two, you always get it. And that means the nine, eight, ten will never get bought. It's not rare right now. It's just non-existent at the moment in competitive, uh, no matter what the game sizes are. Um, so... I thought thinking about making it 12, just see how it plays, and your resources will tick off a bit faster. Uh, just start will still be 160. So I'm gonna test that mode out, guys. Let me see what you let me know what you think. Um, it may be that this may be the mode for 1v1s just to get the um, more heavies out. So we'll see how it goes. Please uh, test that. Uh, also, one cool thing about the mod is I've added every single map in AS2 known to man. So this is bigger than the set of map packs, a lot bigger. So there's Bazura's maps, the Ingles maps, R6 maps, unit mod maps, uh, old men of war maps, Thompson's maps, uh, lots of maps from GSM. Uh, you'll see Cerebellon's maps. <laughs> I still can't, I'm scrolling down my, my middle mouse key is, uh, my middle finger is hurting by scrolling down. So all the credits are there, all the makers in the title, and also I'll put it into the workshop, um, workshop for credits as well. Uh, and I also tidied up everything. So basically now everything's, I think, balanced from my knowledge. I've fixed up a lot of CPs. I have fixed up icons. I've fixed up descriptions. So this is the big one, which I hopefully won't have to update again because I know Workshop can be screwy and sometimes you have to delete the mod and resubscribe. So I'm going to try something new again today with this. I'm not going to rename the folder. This time I'm just going to upload it, upload with the same folder name. So you won't have to re-enable another mod. Uh, it should just replace over. If it doesn't, unfortunately, you do have to delete and resubscribe. Uh, but the uh, info, the modded.info, which you'll see the description when you look at the mod in the UI, it should say 1.63. No, actually, one sec, I'll just double check that. Should say 1.66, okay, yep. But your folder should still be called that 1.65. So anyway, guys, enjoy. Uh, let me know what you think.